Coming up, the Palau adventure continues as Jonathan braves the wicked currents of Peleliu Corner for some big shark action. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. The Republic of Palau is an island nation consisting of more than 500 beautiful unspoiled islands in the Pacific. Camera woman Julia and I have traveled halfway around the world to visit this tropical paradise, exploring both above and below the water. Our diving this week will be aboard the Rock Islands Aggressor, a luxury liveaboard dive yacht. Palau is located 500 miles east of the Philippines in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, pristine waters for world-class scuba diving. We've already done some incredible dives and experienced some of Palau's spectacular underwater wonders. We have visited coral caverns, found lots of sea turtles, met a curious Napoleon wrasse, and swam through walls and walls of fish over healthy reefs. But one thing we haven't seen much of, sharks. Yet Palau is known for its shark action. One of the only places we've seen sharks so far is off the stern of the boat. Black tip reef sharks often approach large boats looking for some free food. Fishermen often throw their scraps to the sharks. So, where are all the rest of the sharks? Well, it turns out they like to hang out in some places where the diving is not so easy. After a few days of getting used to the underwater conditions, now our group is ready to take on a legendary dive site. We awake in a small protected bay off the island of Peleliu in the southern part of Palau. Peleliu is notorious for being the site of the bloodiest battle of the Pacific during World War II. Here, the United States and Japan fought for control of this tiny island in a battle that took over two months. 13,000 men lost their lives. Remnants of the battle are everywhere. During the battle, American troops stormed Peleliu Beach, now a peaceful lagoon. Just off the beach is Peleliu Corner, a reef that juts out into the ocean with a steep drop-off. Extreme currents rip up and across this reef, and this is where we're diving. If the current is strong, uh, we're not gonna hook in. We're just gonna drift. The morning begins with a dive briefing, and we all need to pay close attention because this dive site can be dangerous. Uh, we can go to the corner, but we usually just stay at shallow depths rather than just right on the reef. But we're ready. Oh. Oh. We drop into the water and quickly descend to the reef, which is bathed in clear oceanic water. The dive masters have dropped us upstream from the dive site, so we can drift with the current down to the perfect spot on the corner of the wall. This part is easy. Once we reach the spot, we have to fight the current to stay in position and maneuver to our desired places. Once we get there, we do something quite uncommon in scuba diving. We actually anchor into the reef with a short line that has a hook on it. Then we flap in the current like flags. This actually does less damage to the reef than having a bunch of people hanging on and kicking the coral. 
we float above the reef without any effort. And soon we have gray reef sharks around checking us out. So why are they here? The strong currents bring nutrients and plankton, which attracts large numbers of fish. They don't mind the current, and that attracts sharks. Unfortunately, because the sharks are here for fish, they have little interest in us. So sometimes they don't come very close. But every few minutes, a curious shark makes a pass to have a look at us. Without the reef hooks, this dive would be almost impossible, especially with a camera. The safest way to conduct this dive is to keep the group together. So after a while, we all unhook at the same time and drift down the reef to be picked up by the boat. We pass a large school of jacks. And a white tip reef shark. And then a huge school of fish comes by. These are sailfin snapper also known as blue-lined sea bream. Astonishingly, these are normally solitary fish. The only time they get together in schools like this is to spawn. And this school of fish seems to go on forever like a river. But the shark action, as it turns out, isn't quite over. Just as we're getting ready to ascend to the boat waiting above, a huge shadow emerges from the blue. It's a whale shark! She's not the biggest whale shark I've ever seen, but whale sharks are extremely rare in Palau for some reason. And this is the first time most of the dive masters have ever seen one in their lives. As she heads off into the blue, everyone's a little disappointed. But I've been around whale sharks a lot, so I keep my camera ready. They often circle back for a look. And here she comes. I believe whale sharks are pretty intelligent and truly curious. Of course, when you see a whale shark, you have to do a celebratory dance. Whale sharks are so rare that when we tell the crew back on the aggressor, they don't believe us. Are you serious? They actually saw a whale shark? Are you serious? As we celebrate over lunch, Captain Ike drives the boat out to open water on our way to the next dive site. Our next dive will be in the German Channel, where we will experience what could be described as an underwater river dive. Uh, so we kneel down for a while, wait a little bit. Uh...
Soon we're on our way to another adventure involving strong current. We begin the dive at the mouth of the channel where the tide is pushing water up into the channel. With reef hooks in place, we wait for some shark action. A few sharks pass by, but there isn't too much going on. So we unhook and do a drift dive with the incoming current up the channel. The coral flies by and we don't even have to kick. Scuba Steve is impersonating a manta ray. When we pass a couple of giant clams, I tuck out of the current to get a few shots. Even though giant clams are protected, it takes a long time for them to get this big. Although they feed on plankton by filtering it from the water with their siphons, they also collect solar power with the photosynthetic symbiotic algae in their skin. Soon I continue on my extremely strenuous dive, making my way back to the boat. Zooming at high speed back towards the aggressor, Captain Ike spots something in the water off the port side of the tender. A huge pod of dolphins is converging on us quickly. Dolphins love to play in the bow wave of boats. It's their version of surfing. Zack runs to the bow to catch the action with a GoPro. I can't believe he even got an underwater shot. Soon we get too far from their stomping grounds and the dolphins turn back. And we return to our floating palace. The currents of Palau can be challenging, but the rewards are worth the effort. You never know what you might see. But not all the amazing things in Palau require diving in heavy current. The Battle of Peleliu created quite a few shipwrecks that we will explore in the next episode of our Palau adventure. Stay tuned. Hey everyone! Thanks for watching our latest episode all the way to the end! Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next episode! And check out our new second channel, Blue World Plus, for some awesome behind-the-scenes vlogs and extras!